Good morning. Let's cut up some grapefruit. Um, I'm going to do it two ways today. First one, the most common way, which would be cutting it in half and then separating the, the meat, the flesh from the membrane. So let's cut it in half. Um, might as well pick out those seeds. And then I'm using a paring knife. I'm going to hold it like this and basically go in there and cut scraping along the membrane. Go around the whole thing till you get to the starting spot. There's also a, a cool, some cool tools you can get. Um, here's a grapefruit knife. It's a, a blade that's split in half and you can go in there and basically straddle the membrane and it's doing two cuts at the same time because there's two blades on it. You can also go like this way. And I appreciate the aerial camera skills of Jennifer, my wife. So I can use two hands today to do my cooking. Um, and then the other side of the blade is curved. So you just flip it around and you can release that part of the vegetable meat. Vegetable. It's a fruit. It's a fruit. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you can be my fact checker too. And if you don't have one of those knives, you can always just go back to that paring knife. I like to stop and, and stop between all the segments instead of cutting all the way around. But that one, that way is quicker. And basically that one's done. And you just put it into a bowl. If you need to put sugar on there, go ahead. Um, honey. Or honey. Um, but then you can just dig a, a, a spoon in there and enjoy. Make sure when you're done, you get all the, that leftover juice and enjoy that too. That would be method number one. Cut. And now method number two. Um, we're going to supreme each segment of the grapefruit. So we're not going to cut it in half. Um, basically I'm going to use a knife and skin it and then cut all, each wedge out, leaving the membrane behind. And you end up with just the segments. So the first thing I like to do is set it on the cutting board and cut the top and bottom off. All of these cuts, I, I like to cherish every little juice. So I like to squeeze them and put it into the bowl that it's gonna end up in and get everything out of this grapefruit as possible. And then now I'm gonna use a, a curving, a curve cut. So when I cut down, I'm doing it at an angle. So I get, I don't leave any pith behind that white stuff. So I'm gonna go around and do the whole thing. Um, this is a ready to eat food. Obviously I'm not going to cook this. So, uh, before we started filming, I did do a full hand washing 20 seconds with full leather of soap. Make sure you wash your hands, especially in these times, you guys. Um, so I just cut around the whole thing and I'm going to pick it up and make sure I got all that white pith off of there. So I can kind of clean it up right now and move all of this trim away. If I left a lot of juice on some of the peels, I'll just go ahead and squeeze them, but I did pretty well on those. There's not much left behind. And here we go, the segmenting part. Working above your bowl, because there, there might be a lot of juices left behind. Um, the first cut's the hardest one. Um, I used to, I like to use a boning knife or a fillet knife. This is a fillet knife because it's a little bendy. Um, and I also don't like to have it really, really sharp. Um, so the first cut, I'm going to go in right next to that membrane on the meat side and cut down till the knife stops. The next cut, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. 
so that segment falls out. Um, now the other cuts are going to be a little easier because I'm going to go down and then all I have to do is turn the knife and follow the segment scraping against the membrane right there to come up. If I had a really, really sharp knife, when I turn the corner on this part, um, you'll, you might cut through the membrane and then the membrane, that's not what you want. Um, so it's at this moment when you turn and cut up that a kind of a duller knife is nice to have. This is my favorite way to eat a whole grapefruit. Number one, it's quicker for me to cut because you only have one piece to cut and not two halves. Number two, once you have your bowl of grapefruit, you're not messing with scraping and getting into that. All the grapefruit and navigating all the, all of the membranes. Uh, okay, at the end, you have this mass. Um, there is a lot of juice in there, so I like to just grab a handful of it and squeeze all of the juice possible out of there. Um, I was just looking up some facts of grapefruit, and turns out grapefruit is the one, is a fruit that has almost the most water out of all grapefruit. Out of all fruit. And also, uh, I learned this picking grapefruit in Arizona. They call them grapefruits because they, they grow like grapes in bunches. Um, they don't taste like grapes, but they grow like grapes in, in big clusters. So there you go. I have my handy spoon here. This is how I like to eat it. Um, I'll show you some pictures right now of how we've used these, these segments as a component to dishes. Um, and not just eating a, a, your nice bowl of grapefruit, but adding it to a plate to enhance um, adding different flavors and textures. Um, so thanks for watching.